Applied Motion Products specializes in designing step and servo motors and drives, integrated systems, and advanced software for a variety of industries and motion control needs. Hello there. You picked a perfect time to stop by. Today, we'll be introducing you to Applied Motion's Q programming language and showing you how to write programs. Even if you're familiar with Q, stick around. We'll show you some great tips and tricks that you may not know about. Q is a single axis motion control language for creating programs to be stored and executed on stepper and servo drives from Applied Motion products. Your program can control motion, read inputs and set outputs, adjust drive configuration, check status, conduct math operations, and manipulate registers. Multitasking allows the program to perform tasks while moves are in progress. It's a bit like having a PLC built into the drive. While your stored program is running, commands and queries can also be accepted from a host over RS-232, RS-485, can open, Ethernet, or Ethernet IP. Q programs can even be loaded, started, and stopped over a network. The Q programmer software, which runs on a Windows PC, provides all the tools necessary to create sophisticated and functional programs that Q and Plus drives can run standalone. A wide variety of applied motion drives are available with the Q language, including the popular DC-powered ST5 and 10 stepper drives and the AC-powered Stack 5 and Stack 6. These drives can control motors ranging in size from the miniature NEMA size 8 all the way up to the massive triple stack HT34 delivering 1800 ounce inches of torque. The Q language is also available on our integrated step motors in sizes 17, 23, and 24. Q is also supported by our full range of servo drives, providing a seamless migration path through all levels of performance. Before we can start programming, we need to pick out some products and get them set up. I've already gone shopping in the engineering lab at Applied Motion Corporate, where I chose an ST10 IP step motor drive and a size 23 step motor. My motor has a knob on the shaft so that we can see it move. I also picked up a DC power supply and a switch box that we'll use to demonstrate the control of inputs and outputs. Lastly, I needed a Cat5 Ethernet cable. The motor connects to the drive by eight wires, as shown in the hardware manual. The ST10 is connected to my router by Ethernet. My PC connects to the network by Wi-Fi. For more information on all things Ethernet, please watch our Ethernet video at www.applied-motion.com slash support slash videos. I've also connected my I.O. box to the ST's and out connector. Finally, the ST connects to a DC power supply. Let's leave the drive unpowered until we get the software running. I previously downloaded the ST configurator software from the Applied Motion website and installed it. ST configurator comes with Q programmer so I now have everything I'll need. If I was using a servo drive, I would need to download QuickTuner and QProgrammer separately. I launched Configurator from the Start menu, where I found it in the Applied Motion Products program group. First, I will select Ethernet as my means of communication, then type in the IP address of the drive I need to configure. In my case, that's 192.168.0.130. If I had an RS-232 drive, I would have selected RS-232-422 as my means of communication and then chosen the appropriate COM port. Now that that's done, I can power up my drive and click Upload to sync my PC with the current drive configuration. Okay, my drive's on. We hit Upload. Configurator conveniently shows an artist's rendition of this drive. And I have synchronized to everything that was in it. 
Now, the motor I'm using is an HT23594. So I'm going to open the motor dialog, and I see that that motor is already selected. How convenient. Now today we're going to demonstrate Q programming, so I'm going to go to the motion menu, and I will select Q program. Okay. Now that that's done, we can choose download to drive. And now the drive is set the same as Q Programmer. Just to make sure that everything is wired okay, I'll do two things. First, I will select Self Test from the Drive menu. Yes, the motor is turning slowly and smoothly, one half rev in each direction, so the motor wiring and settings seem absolutely fine. The next thing I'm going to do is go back to the Drive menu and bring up the Status Monitor. I just want to make sure that my switch box is correctly connected. One by one, I'm actuating the inputs, and they're showing up fine. Next, I will slide the analog input, and I see the voltage is changing. Very nice. And now I'm going to manually actuate a couple of the drive outputs, and I see the LEDs on the switch box coming on, so everything looks good to go.